And welcome to the Creator Fundamentals Podcast. My name is Dan Courier, and I am here to help you build a foundation for YouTube success. Today, we are going to talk about collaborations, and I'm going to give you some ideas to help get you started in engaging in the small YouTuber community, interacting with other small YouTubers, and helping to grow your channel. If this is the first time that you are listening to the Creator Fundamentals podcast. I want to let you know that we are also on YouTube at youtube.com slash creator fundamentals. So please consider heading over there, clicking the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. Also consider following the podcast. We will be doing regular uploads to the Creator Fundamentals podcast and I look forward to having you join us. All right, so the topic today is collaborations, and I have a few ideas that I wanna share with you to maybe give you some inspiration of setting up collaborations and helping to grow your channel. All right, so collaborations, for those of you who are listening or watching for the first time, or listening and watching, I guess that's probably relevant too. In any event, um, I cannot, overstress the importance of community to small YouTubers in growing your channel. It's it's crucially important. Actually, I believe the last video that uh, I released as of this podcast on YouTube was all about getting involved in the community. So collaborations obviously ties in closely with interacting with the YouTube community. So I wanted to give you sp- some specific ways that you can try to set up a collaboration with another small YouTuber and help grow both of your channels. So uh, one of the really common popular ways that small YouTubers interact are challenges and tag videos. Basically in these in this scenario, Uh, One YouTuber will uh, do some type of video, uh, whether it be a challenge passed to them or a general topic that they were tagged in by another YouTuber. They make a video of it and then they present it to their small YouTuber friends to also do a similar video. Um, The good thing about the tag videos and challenges is there tends to be... um, a group of people who have all done the same type of video and you may find that other people who have done the same tag or challenge may be more likely to actually watch yours so uh, tags and challenges like I said they are very popular so if you're involved in small youtuber communities you can keep an eye out for the different tags and challenges and get involved with those Uh, and uh, help get some exposure and grow your channel. Uh, Another thing that you can do, and I've seen a number of small YouTubers do this as well, um, is perform some type of skit, whether it's a comedy routine, uh, unless the small YouTuber that you're working with actually happens to be geographically local to you, Um, there's a good chance that you're going to be doing the collaboration remotely. Uh, If that is the case, you basically come up with a basic script and you have each YouTuber basically performs uh, their part of the script and then one of them decides to collect all of the videos and edit them into a single video, then it'll be released on one channel. Um, I actually know of a couple small YouTubers, uh, one by the name of Dennis on the Driving Me Crazy channel, uh, who does a vlog style channel. And um, he did a collaboration with your own Shavit of Shavanism. Um, and basically what they did is they did two different comedy skits, um, basically two separate videos where they both interacted with each other and then each channel published one of those videos on their their channel. So they had cross exposure um, to share each of their channels with the other's audience and they both had content to upload to their channel. So it was a great way for them to interact, like I said, introduce their content um, to the other channel and the other audience and possibly help grow both of the channels at the same time. So 
uh, you know, there's all kinds of different ways you can do skits, whether it's comedy or, or, or whatever the case may be. Um, I think they did a customer service skit where one was customer or uh, customer service and somebody was calling them. Another one was a newscast where they had a non scene reporter and then somebody actually in the newsroom and they were interacting. So that is a great way. Um, Another way that you can, as small YouTubers, get involved in collaborations, um, you can basically, to keep it simple, you can host the other YouTuber's content. And basically the way that would work is you create a short video that says, Hi, I'm Dan Courier from Creator Fundamentals, and today I want to share with you a video from XYZ Channel. Check it out. And then you actually just uh, present an entire video on whatever the topic is from that other channel. Uh, you know, that's a, a great way to introduce another channel to your audience. And then in turn, you would basically do the same thing in the other direction. And that would give you an opportunity, um, again, to kind of cross pollinate those communities and try to build that um, your subscriber base and, and the people who actually watch your videos. So uh, another possibility would be to actually review each other's channel. You can basically share feedback or just do a general um, you know, review style, like a movie type review of the channel and explain what it is and what they do and maybe show some highlights. You do that for each other's channel. Another great way to get that exposure on both sides. So um, the, the more you can get involved in the small YouTuber community through Facebook groups and other things like that, the more uh, you are going to, and the way that I like to refer to it is, is planting seeds. Uh, the more, not every single attempt you make to draw traffic to your site is going to be successful. But if you, you know, essentially plant 10 seeds out there, whether it be, you know, links in the appropriate places in, in forums or interacting with other small YouTubers and exposing your channel to their audience, uh, each time you do that, you create a seed that could potentially grow into a traffic stream. Um, and just through simple math, the more seeds you plant, you know, and of course those, those include links on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, these interactions with other YouTubers, you know, actively commenting on other videos, the more seeds you plant, the better the chances that, um, you know, some of those are going to grow into traffic and people are going to find your channel interesting and, you know, that'll bring them to your channel and hopefully your content will keep them there. So you can never, you can never plant too many seeds. It's up to you how many you actually go out and do. And then it just be basically becomes a function of hustle of how much or how, how much you want to grow your channel and how much time and effort you're willing and or able to put into that process. So uh, it is, um, you know, fairly, fairly simple to, to see that the more you're able to do that, the more chances, you know, if you're only getting 30% of those converted to actually people who come in and check your site, then you're going to get three on 10 of those seeds, but you're going to get 30 on a hundred. So, you know, it's proportional to the amount of effort that you're able to put in. Um, and collaborations are obviously an excellent way to plant those seeds. And I would even say that uh, those are kind of the collaborations are kind of like the uh, the uh, seeds planted or, you know, treated with miracle grow because you have that interaction and you're really able to expose a lot more of who you are and your personality and what your channel is all about in a potentially engaging and interactive way with another another community. So uh, definitely recommend the collaborations. Another idea um, would be to create videos where you actually do a react video to an existing video on the other channel. So you would basically each pick a video from the other person's uh, uploaded videos, and then you would um, present it as a reaction video, you know, where you sit there picture in picture, whatever the case may be, and share your thoughts throughout the, um, throughout the video. You know, another great way to, to get that exposure on both sides. So uh, another way, um, something that I've actually done, uh, and I actually did a collaboration with a channel called FLW Videos, um, a guy by um, his moniker on, on YouTube is Famous. So Famous at FLW Videos. And we actually 
did a collaboration where we created an entire new channel called Talk Data to Me, where we did a, um, we basically did like a video call and we wrapped some graphics around that. So we were both on the screen and we basically had a um, kind of like a face-to-face -face discussion on YouTube related topics, you know, whether sub for sub was a good idea and all those, those things. And that's something that uh, we did for a few episodes and something that we're possibly looking to bring back uh, sometime later in the future as a, as a live stream or a weekly or monthly live stream events. So uh, you never know just how much those collaboration attempts uh, are actually going to, um, you know, grow into something much more, much more significant. Um, but in that same style where you basically do a video call, you, know, you can do it on Skype, you can do it on Google Hangouts, and then you can use a program like OBS, which allows you to, um, you know, wrap some graphics around those so it doesn't look like you're just sitting there on Skype. You know, you can actually m give it that studio uh, look and feel and, uh, you know, be able to discuss a topic, quote unquote, face to face uh, in that video format. So definitely a lot of uh, um, easy ways to get involved in the community uh, through collaborations. And I think that if you are serious about growing your channel, I would highly recommend that you get involved with some collaborations, interact with your fellow small YouTubers. Uh, and once you start building those relationships, it's really going to open a lot of doors for you in terms of having that regular uh, feedback from other people who, who watch your content, you know, having people that are much more likely to be engaged in your community because they know uh, the ins and outs of YouTube and what it means to you for them to check out their videos and share feedback. Um, and, you know, hopefully you'll build a constructive relationship where you're able to feed off each other and both sides will grow their channels, improve their channels on a regular basis and hopefully grow um, on YouTube together. So, I wanted to share these um, uh, collaboration ideas with you. Uh, they are definitely something that I would recommend getting involved with. Uh, we are appro quickly approaching August, which is one of the months of the vlog every day in April or August, which is the VEDA. Um, whether that's pronounced beta or Vita or VEDA, I don't know somebody you can tell me in the tell me in the comments on youtube if that's where you happen to be catching that if there's a proper pronunciation from that but uh you know if you decide to participate in a challenge like that and you're looking for that content on a much more frequent basis than you're used to collaborations are a great way to um add some additional content to your channel so I think that is going to wrap it up for today's podcast. I appreciate you listening. I hope I was able to bring you some value and some ideas to help grow your YouTube channel. If you would like to continue to build a foundation for YouTube success, I would strongly recommend you check us out on YouTube, which is youtube.com slash creator fundamentals. Again, click that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. And you certainly want to follow this podcast so you are aware as we release future episodes. Uh, I enjoy the opportunity of interacting with you. I hope to hear from you, share your feedback. Uh, let me know if there's a topic that you'd like us to cover on the Creator Fundamentals podcast. That's all the time we have for today. My name is Dan Courier, and you've been listening to the Creator Fundamentals Podcast. Thank you.